So I'm walking down to the beach now. It's so beautiful. Oh. Yes, look at that. Woo. And the water just feels so good. Look at that water. Oh, oh. look at this water, chat. Hey, you two kings and queens, princess. to have another year so beautiful out here you had to experience Jamaica guys Ooh. all these people in the water today's a beautiful day when we first came the weather was a little gloomy and dark even the clouds were like surrounding the place but today uh, it's just so beautiful today big this place is we're walking to the christmas tree and in its glory like guys you have to take a trip to harmony park montego bay jamaica 
place is so beautiful. I remember when I was a kid, my sister and I used to come over here and it was just sand, glass bottles on the, the, the sand and everything. It wasn't this like, ugh, beautiful. Now they just changed it, put up poles, all the coconut trees and palm trees, they're still here. Even this big tree right here, we used to sit under this big tree years ago. Now it's surrounded by grass. But just look at this Christmas tree in all its glory. Sometimes I have to reflect back and think I'm in California somewhere because it's never December Christmas time, 70, 70 degrees outside. And we're just basking in our ambience. So I would just love to share this with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. All right. There's a track if you guys want exercise. You could come around and walk on this black track here. And on the other side, and it's like a rubber kind of. It's good for your feet so that if you wanted to run on it, you can run on it. And there's a place that you could park your car and across the street, there's a place called Bay West Center. KFC. The Christmas tree. Going, that road leads to Iron Shore or Bottom Road. And this is the restroom. So we're back and at this beach they have a lot of seaweed or Irish moss and what they call sea moss and I absolutely love it. I believe it's beautiful. It's what the fishes eat. This is what the little animals in the sea eat and just look at it. The beauty of the seaweed. Look at that. This is what they dry and put in body lotion, skin lotion. Most people drink it. In Jamaica, we actually blend it up and and um with oatmeal, condensed milk, vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, and we drink it. It's supposed to be healthy for you. If the fishes eat it, then I know it's healthy for you. But most importantly, it's also healthy for the ocean. So we should not remove it. As ugly as some people would say it looks, we you know the fishes, they live in it and they feed off of the seaweed. So we're gonna walk down to the end of the beach, down there where there's a little house looking thing or gazebo. And we're just gonna take in the beauty. Like even some parts of the, the water, it has the seaweed or sea moss or algae. You can still see the beauty of the ocean, how clear it is. And I can't believe that this used to be the beach called Dump Up. Literally, people used to dump stuff in this particular part of the ocean. This is the part that if you didn't have money and you couldn't afford to go to the beach, this is where they would go. As you can see, it has natural rocks, algae, 
seaweed right here. So while I'm walking right here, it's a lot of big rocks. And you can see it because the water is so clear. But they cleaned it up so well. And I'm so honored to even walk here. Like you could tell, it wasn't as beautiful as it was back in the day. Because people used to purposely dump stuff in the ocean. But now I'm here 10, 15 years later. And I'm just marveled of how beautiful it is. God's creation. We're so great. If we put our minds to good things, we can be great people. Like whoever did this, I'm so proud and you know honored to be even here today to walk along this beach because we are great. That's why they say when you're a team, teamwork matters because it takes a team to clean up this beach and it takes a clean a team to keep it clean also. So thank you guys, whoever, Harmony Park is the place to come to when you come to Jamaica. It's free to get in. The only thing you have to pay for is umbrellas and the, the benches that you lay on. And I believe there's somewhere that you could get drinks from. You have to pay for parking if you're walking, if you're driving. But hey, the, the money that you spend here goes back into the park to keep it clean. So I'm so grateful and honored. Like right there, you could tell that's algae in the ocean right there. That's why it's a green bluish color. And then right here, so clear. So we're almost at the end. And once I get to the gazebo, I'm gonna turn around and walk back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. Hopefully one day you can take the same journey I took to get here. Just so you could bask in your ambiance. Look at the ripples in the ocean, the sand. Oh, the crabs did all of this. I can't. It's just amazing. <laughs>